Hi, my name is Virginia Davis, and today I'd like to show you how to make a chai-infused creme brulee. But everybody knows that the best part of the creme brulee is that sweet, caramelized, sugary topping. And I'd like to share a tip with you today. We're gonna take a half a cup of brown sugar and oven dry it in 275 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. We're going to simmer two cups of cream, and now I'm going to add three chai tea bags to infuse the flavor. Meanwhile, I'm going to separate six eggs because we need six egg yolks. So you just wanna break the egg down the middle and rotate until all the white falls out between the eggshells. And then save your egg whites for omelets or meringues. We're going to whisk the egg yolks until they slightly become pale in color. Add a tablespoon of vanilla and a third cup of sugar. And now we're ready to add our chai-infused heavy cream. Allow the cream to cool slightly and then pour it slowly into the egg mixture. And now we're ready to bake them. We're gonna pour the mixture into six ramekins that have been placed into a baking dish. The creme brulees need to bake in a water bath, so I'm gonna add an inch of warm water to the bottom of the baking dish. And now these guys are ready to go. Once the creme brulees are done, you want to lift them from the water bath and allow them to cool. Before we caramelize the sugar on top, these guys will want to spend about two hours in the refrigerator. Now these are finally cooled. Sprinkle with about a half a tablespoon of the dried brown sugar, and we're ready for the best part, the finishing touch, the torching. Move the torch slowly in a circular motion, and you'll know that the sugar is finished when it starts to brown and melt. And when you're finished, you'll wanna let it rest for about 30 seconds, and then grab a spoon and enjoy. This recipe was brought to you by Shoptopia, just what you want, right where you are.